Yeah, I will finish this cosplay in about a week, yeah. Yeah, I mean, well, just a couple more days and this will be finished. Yeah, I can't do this. Definitely, definitely before the end of the month, yeah. Tomorrow. Definitely tomorrow. This is going to be done very soon. Or not? Welcome to Gospel Land. I'm Alice and I finally have a new video about my jean cosplay. If you have been following me on social media, I've been going like very, very, very slow with this cosplay. And it's because it's just, just difficult to do, I guess. It has many details and yeah, I could have finished it a long time ago if I had skipped all the details, but that's what makes it fun. I finally have finished one more piece of the costume. This time it's the blouse, which is the most important part. Probably. I really like the shorts as well. But this time it just took longer than I expected. I was planning to spend maybe a week, perhaps two weeks, doing just this part. But, you know, there's this weird concept of cosplay time, which is what I like to call it, in which you think something's gonna take you a day and you end up spending four weeks or more doing it. Anyway, the important thing that it is finished and today I'm going to finally show you the tutorial on how I made it. So there we go. I just, just show it to you and just, just get it done because it's it's very long. So I'll be gone. First of all, I added seam allowances to my pattern. I only had to trace the lines again just about half an inch from the border of my paper. Once it was all ready I used my scissors to cut the fabric. Just notice that the fabric is always folded in half so you get both sides of the same pattern. These are all the pieces, as you can see there's a lot of them. And again here's my favourite part, I'm not gonna go into detail with this because you have seen it before in my other cosplay parts for the shorts but this is how I use heat transfer vinyl and you just have to cut the pieces and peel the vinyl and you will get the final design on it. It's super satisfying. Keep in mind that the pieces for the front and the back are the same but they won't be exactly placed in the same position so that's why I cut the extra parts and then I use my heat transfer press to put it in place. It only takes a couple of minutes and it's so satisfying. Actually, let's just do it again because this is probably my favourite part of all the process. There you go peeling that transfer. I just love it, I could spend all day doing this. Let's assemble the this. The front seams are these ones and you just have to put them together. The only tricky part is the curve at the bust but the trick is just to try and find the middle and just ping along the edges just to make sure that they align perfectly. Don't be afraid of ripping if you are not satisfied with it the first time. It's very common and it is, as I said, a bit tricky. Now we can begin sewing. As usual, my camera is not cooperating, so yeah, well, 
it's just a straight scene, so you know what to do here. And I'm not going to be showing you this all the time, but I usually also finish the seams with my overlocker just to make sure there's no raw edges, even on the inside of my cosplay. And here we go, let's go for the next part. Once it's assembled, you can just put the joke part, which is the top of this blouse, align with the bottom part and just start sewing. Now, I made this a little bit complicated for myself because I wanted to be like super accurate and there's like this edge in the cosplay that is supposed to be on the side and honestly it was a complete nightmare, it's very difficult to sew. I left in the pattern instructions on how to make this but if, if honestly you just, just don't do this, like it just was a nightmare and then I had problems with how the actual thing fitted and everything so yeah if you really must I left you instructions in my pattern but if not you just do the joke normally and there it is something missing here did you notice yeah I forgot that part but let's carry on for a little bit first I'm going to do this part which is to sew the hole in the middle because there is a hole in the middle of this blouse and it's not an accident and um, what I did was first I saw this square fabric with a little bit of interfacing on it and then I only had to cut the inside of that fabric before I turned it just be very careful not to cut the threads that you have already sewn once that is done, I trimmed the corners a little bit and then I just had to fold these inwards and once I sew it in place, it was much, much nicer and you have that hole. There you go. Now let's go back and fix that colour. I made this piece using two sides of the same fabrics put together of course one of them has interfacing that makes it stiffer and it will have a better shape it's like a mountain i cut all the extra fabric so it will be easier later to just turn it don't forget to clip those corners which will be the most difficult to turn and here I am, just, you know, wasting time having to redo things that are already done. I had searched it and everything, so yeah, this put me back probably a couple of hours. But, you know, when you are doing a cosplay, there will be things that go wrong. And you can always fix them, look! No. Let's go to the back. Here I am just closing that dart that's at the back, and it makes it fit better on your body. And once those pieces are done, we can just assemble the sides so we have something we can try on. I also closed the back of the blouse but just leaving gap big enough so I can put my head through the gap. Just don't forget that, it's quite important. And here I'm just going to show you one of the reasons why this cosplay has been so, so, so slow. I had to hand sew, or rather, I decided to hand sew all the edges of this cosplay so it wouldn't be visible from the outside because it's see through. And what I decided to do is just make this like, you know, couture. So all the seams are hand sewn. You just cut a little bit so it's not so bulky. Then you fold it on itself, fold it again pin it in place and hand sew 
everything. Not to say that it took me hours and hours and, and more hours. You can't imagine how much hand sewing goes into this cosplay. Well, actually you can because get an idea, if you get an idea, if you want to get an idea, it's, it, it took me about four weeks to finish this and most of it is because I did everything by hand. To finish the armholes, what I did was just sew a piece of lace to the sides and then once that was done, I could just fold it inwards so it looked like it was inside of the netting. I cut the excess as before so it's not so bulky and you won't be able to see so much fabric on the inside once I turn it. And yeah, you guessed it, I also decided to hand sew this part so it was less visible, all the stitches would be invisible. Now the front is just a tube because I didn't want to do a closure at the front. It's sometimes better to fake it, it looks neater and there was going to be a closure at the back. And this is how I made the real closure at the back. It's just a rectangle and you just sew it to one side of the seam that it's still not finished. Once it's sewn to both sides, you will just have to fold it on itself and hide that seam inside. You will notice that both sides overlap so you are hiding one of them, then you just have to just stop stitch this part, of course I didn't, I hand sew everything, but you just have to top stitch that part and the side and it will be done. Yep, I told you, more hand stitching. This is what I've been doing for weeks and weeks and weeks this summer and this is how I usually do it. I don't really put the fabric on top of the table. I just find it more comfortable just to put it on my lap, unless there is a cat on my lap, which did happen several times during the recording of this. Now, to make these things that they put on the neck of the cosplay, I don't know why designers love this thing in which they make a colour with different colours at the bottom. It's, it's a pain, it's a nightmare, but what I did was just using some bias tape to make the bottom of the colour look like a different colour. And I just had to attach it to my neck. Don't worry because that's gonna be hidden by the actual neck. And here is when I went really, really, really wrong and messed up. <laughs> so, what happened was that, as it's usually the case in cosplay and in sewing in general, of course I ran out of fabric and I had to stop and go back to the store and try to find some more fabric. It was a good thing that I did because I actually found other things that I did need and many other things that I did not need. I actually made a video about it, so yeah, check it out if, if you wanna see what I actually bought that day on the store, but the good news is that I was able to finish it. Uh, well, no, actually, I'm, I'm lying. I, I actually didn't get the one fabric that I needed because I'm a bit stupid and I had to order it online and wait another three days in order to finish it. Okay, can you me? Let's do it again. I am sewing the colour right now. Both parts are together and I'm going to be turning them to make the final piece for my colour. I trim the edges as I always do because that makes it much much easier to turn your fabric. I 
And now I'm adding more bias tape to this side of the collar. Again, it's gonna be hidden, so I just put it on top of it and also helped with the stability of the collar because it was actually quite thin and it was difficult to keep up. Once you have all the pieces, I used to attach them and it's not sewn here, but all the finishes, the edges and everything, I hand sew everything just to make sure no raw edges showed anywhere. More hand sewing, I decided to just attach these little bits at the top of the flowers and here's another part that I made which is the back, I wasn't very happy with it but anyways this is how I made it. First I just put the vinyl on the white fabric because I didn't have white vinyl and that was very silly on my part and then I just cut it And I also use this special bond thing that you use to attach fabric to fabric but unfortunately it wasn't very sticky so I, I, I just decided to do a thing I guess. <laughs> so let me just stop you there for one second. At this point I had spent maybe three or, or even four weeks just, just hand sewing everything and I decided like hey, why don't we go like the extra mile and just, just add a little bling or something to this cosplay just, just to make it more interesting and maybe I can just, I don't know, go to a competition with it because you know, I've spent so long on this, why not spend a little bit longer? And, and yeah, it took me about three days to just, just do this little piece with all the bits on it, so was it a good idea? I don't know, does it look good? Uh, well, it's done so it's on the back if you like it you like it and if you don't just show it on the photos that's it okay it was silly it took too long and it's not even that good looking but it's done now And I just finished by adding some more details and buttons and closure and you just hating my camera. And finally here is the blouse. It took some time but it was totally worth it and I'm very happy with how it turned out. Well actually no, there's many things I would have changed but you know, if you don't try and finish something, you will only have unfinished cosplays, so that's not what we want in here. This is the back, and again this is the front, and I will just need to add a few more details here and there for the final result that hopefully you will see in the next video. As always, all the patterns will be available in my store but they will be first on Patreon, so I expect to have all of the patterns ready by the end of September, probably. But remember that most of them are already on my Patreon, so if you want to check it out, just make sure to come and say hi. We have pictures, cats and lots of nice things, and you get to see all my other projects as well, and lots of other patterns and things that you may be interested in. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you liked it and I hopefully will see you in a week or two with the final part of the actual cosplay but it's actually not the final part because I still need to do the wig and the sword and I wanted to do a slime and I wanted to do a floor shirt I don't know, there's, there's still many things to do but I'll try to just, just get as much content as possible here on, in my social media just let me know which part you are more interested in and I will try to do a video about it. I hope you enjoyed the process, don't forget that you can support me just by clicking that like button and if you want to see the end of this project you can also click the subscribe and the bell to get the notification when the next video goes out, hopefully in a week or two. I'm just looking forward to finish this and start with the next time. So I hope you like it and see you next time!
Rest on focus. Wow, look at that.